you released a song called Hard Road with House of Shem. How did that arrangement come about? You know, we became friends, uh, just mutual friends. We loved each other's music. And uh, the last time we were here playing Ragamuffin. Nice. We got to hang out for uh, a few days and um, uh, they hosted us, you know, Papa Carl and the boys took good care of us and we recorded that song and just been really good uh, brethren ever since. So what do you think the secret is to keeping the fire burning after 20 years of being on the road? Music, reggae music has a way of keeping you young. You never get tired of being in this environment. Is there any fundamental difference between the Kelly uh, reggae scene and the New Zealand reggae scene? You know, the New Zealand reggae scene has an identity. Uh, the indigenous uh, Maori identity. Um, and I think that in, in, in California, you know, it's a, it's a different scene. It's a blend of a lot of us. I'm Chicano, I'm Mexican-American. I use the music to express myself and, and I love to see the fact that that uh, the people, the indigenous people here in New Zealand um, are using it to make themselves feel proud because colonialism sucks, man. <laughs> colonialism do. sucks and it's a long struggle. How do you see reggae music developing over the coming decades? You know, reggae music is more important right now than ever. There's a lot of lies going on in this world right now. And it's up to reggae musicians to take part, not just reggae, you know, artists in general all over the world are doing good, but, um, and, but you know, reggae music, that's what we do, man. A long time ago, 1994, Big Mountain came out with a song called Border Town. Border Town, you know. And what is Mr. Trump trying to do? He's trying to build a border wall. Well, guess what? We've been fighting against this, and we've been fighting against that negative energy for a long time. So it's like, you know, I don't get scared by Mr. Trump. We've been, we've been through this, man. We've been through this, Mr. Trump. All right, I've been fighting against people like you for decades, and I ain't gonna back down. And I'm still back, you know, still standing by my words that borders are are unhealthy for Mother Earth. You know, uh, borders are um, they block energy, negative, and that's not what we need. Reggae music teaches positive. Reggae music teaches building bridges and respecting culture, respecting people's identity, people's way of life. And that's why, you know, youth, the young people, young reggae musicians out there, read up, read your history. Because, you know, the history they teach you in schools, that ain't history. That's just, you know, that's just a version that's trying to defend a, a, a wicked policy in the past. Awesome, bro. Cool. <laughs> well, good luck, uh, Keto, with the fight against Trump. And uh, thanks for being on Push Play, brother. Thank you, awesome. brother.